Andrea. A mother of four is happy to say that she has the upper hand on a very rare but deadly cancer. And now she is fighting the new fight to uplift other women who have breast cancer. The key, she says, being positive and healthy. Jacqueline Quinn met this mom and she is live at Rocky Mountains Cancer Center at Rose Medical Campus where this mom sought care. Hey Jacqueline. Good morning. You know, we're not seeing pink anymore, but the message is still the same. You know, get checked. Uh, the statistics show that about one out of eight women uh, may develop breast cancer. So this mom followed that advice. She got checked and she was clear, but then she took an extra step and that's what saved her life. Hi, this is Victoria English Martin. When Victoria Martin isn't picking up the mic, she's likely picking up a barbell. At 48 years old, Martin was a picture of health. She taught Pilates, exercised, and watched what she ate. I was in the shower after a workout uh, in March of 2018. I felt a lump. She was surprised by the discovery because she had gotten a clear mammogram not long before that. I didn't have much time at all. Suddenly, Martin found herself fighting for her life. Her doctor says it was an aggressive form of breast cancer commonly known as triple negative. It's very good that she found this thing and came in early because the sooner you find it, the better, the more curable it is for sure. Treatment called for over 20 rounds of radiation, surgery for a double mastectomy and hysterectomy. You know, you have your chemo session, you feel terrible, and you know that the next week is just going to be worse. Martin found motivation in her family and others facing the same battle. One woman had a five-month-old. Her last Facebook post was uh, getting milk from other nursing mothers to wean her baby because she knew that she was going to pass soon. She doesn't want that to happen again. And because of her experiences, she's making it a mission to raise awareness by talking about breast cancer and the aftermath in a podcast. It is one thing to survive a crisis in life and quite another to thrive. And it may be the thing some need to hear while research advances. We need to be heard. We need to learn to advocate for our health when we're dismissed. It's a clogged milk duct. It's your hormones. No, push for that extra exam. And catching things early is very important, according to the National Cancer Institute. For the past couple of decades, if people can catch this in time, the survival rate has gone up. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, covering Colorado First. That is really terrific news of a survival rate rising. Great story, Jacqueline. Thank you very much. It's wet weather.